Shalom, shalom. I want to start by giving our praises to Lord Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Ba'ashim, And um, my name is Brother Napak from the Camp Prophets in Babylon, here down in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give the honors to elders and apostles a great millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. And um, I want to get into a short, quick lesson. And I'm going to call it, uh, Jake is mentally gone. All right. Stockholm Syndrome. All right. Because, um, now as you see it, you look at this picture right here. It says sometimes the, the mental chains are the hardest ones to break. All right. You know, because Jake as a people, you know, are mentally, you know, still in captivity, still in slavery, you know, their minds, because when we were in physical slavery, you know, they did us so wrong and did us so bad, you know, and it's like how you train a dog, you know, if you don't do what you don't want him to do, you whoop him, all right, and they were treating us like that, man, you know. Whatever they want us to do, and if we didn't do it the way they wanted it, or the way they expected it to be done, you know, they would do, you know, whatever it do, they would do it, uh, whatever punishment comes to mind, you know, unto us, man, all right, and make us serve them, you know, and they did that for years, where we had to continuously serve them, continuously do, you know, their biddings, their work. And we barely would get paid anything, man. All right? We wouldn't get paid, man. You know, and that's that was slavery. All right? But now that we're out of it, man, now that we're out of that hard, you know, hard bondage, man, you know, physically, you know, Jake, but uh, we're physically out of it, but Jake mine is still, you know, mentally enslaved, man, all right, by these devils. You know, because of all the things that they have done. You know, not to get into this precept right here. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. It says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. So, you know, these are curses that we're dealing with as of right now. Uh, we have been dealing with these curses, man. We have been a cursed people, you know. Uh no matter where we go, you know, whether it's Africa, you know, Europe or anywhere, you know, we still go, these curses will follow. No matter how rich you get, no matter the money and the fame, these curses still go follow, follow one way or another. All right. And that's just how it is until the Lord comes back and save us from this place, man. All right. And these curses have pursued us, man, and overtaken us. All right. That's why it says, moreover, all these curses shall be come come upon thee, shall and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. It says, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. All right, so since we didn't really hearken unto the Lord, God, but Shemir was shy, and keep his commandments, you know, once other gods disobeyed the Lord, you know, because of this, you know, we didn't do what he commanded of us. It says, a day shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder, um, and upon thy seed forever, because thou service, uh, service not the Lord thy God in joyfulness and with gladness of heart, the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things. And he shall put a, iron, a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. All right. That's how it is, man. You know, these curses have overtaken and, and pursued us, you know, and destroyed us as a people, man. To where we came and think, you know, on our own, man. You know, we go into these devils. You know, we put our trust into these devils before we put into our, uh put the trust into the Lord. You know, we're killing our own brethren, you know, um and many other things also, man. All right, you know, that Jake go through and these are just the curses because, you know, we were destroyed. 
our other people, as a nation. You know, you look around, you see Jake now, man. Jake is all into the bullshit, man. You know, you're supposed to be a holy, righteous people, separate people. You know, and you see Jake, you know, just doing whatever. All right? But it says, um, Therefore shalt thou, shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. These enemies, you know, is these devils, man. Esau. Esau eat them, man. It says, you know, we're serving our enemies, man. Especially when we're in slavery. But still, even now, man, you know, we're still serving our enemies, man. And Jake don't even know it. Jake don't even understand it. Jake doesn't consider or care, you know. And it says, um, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. So, you know, we go into these devils. You know, for food, you know, for, for for drink, you know, for clothing. You go into this devil for all of that, man. All right. It says, in one of all things, so for all these things, for all things, you know, you want a house, all these different things, we got to go and ask this devil of it, man. All right. You know, to even get married, man. All right. <sighs> they, they, they make you um, get married through the government. You know, and Jake do it willingly. Jake don't care. You know, Jake's going to do it, man. You know, Jake vote willingly. All right. These devils, you know, are, you know, Jake literally vote for these devils. All right. Just for another devil to get in the seat because what his lies, his lies sounded more better. All right. And that's the whole thing about that voting system, man. When Jake vote, man. They vote for the one that, that, that lies, you know, sounds more better. That sounds more smoother to their ears. And they're just getting, you know, beguiled. And Jake really don't care. You know, Jake really don't care for it, man. As long as whatever sounds best to them, better to them, that's who they vote for. Even though their votes doesn't, even though their votes doesn't matter, you know, Jake still... Go out and, and, and vote for these devils, man. It says, And he shall put a yoke of iron around thy neck. So the, these devils have put a yoke of iron around our necks. You know. Um, that go around. Uh, that yoke of iron which go around our neck. And they have long poles. Attached to them. Alright. And said, until he have destroyed, uh, until he have destroyed thee. All right. So these devils have put that yoke of iron around our necks, you know, until he have destroyed us, man. All right. And then that's when he called off slavery. And then that's when, you know, he took that yoke of iron around our necks physically. And then we go out. And now we are mentally still enslaved unto these devils, still doing their bidding, still doing what they want, you know, what they need, working to build this kingdom up, working to build these kingdom, these uh devils' kingdom up, man. All right? And it's, um, and it's like, Jake don't care, man. All right? Jake don't care, they don't consider, you know, that's what you call Stockholm Syndrome, man. Right, because he's, Jake still want to be under, you know, the masses, uh, you know, arm. All right. You know, because when you bring out the whole slavery thing, man, you know, Jake defend these devils more than they defend themselves. Defend the fact that, you know, these devils had us in slavery. They defend, you know, the white man. All right. You know, so you got a whole bunch of Uncle Toms. All right. We're in a mix of a whole bunch of Uncle Toms, man. But, um, let me get this real quick. Isaiah 61 and 3. It says, the ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. So these two dumb animals... You know, they, they, they know where their home at. They know who, who their master is, who their Lord really is, man. All right. It says, but Israel doeth not know, my people doeth not consider. 
So, but, you know, you have Israel. You know, they don't know. They don't understand. They don't know who the Lord is. They don't know his name. They don't know what he looks like. What is it? You know, how, how he's how he's describing the scriptures. They don't know shit, man. You know, you just got Jake, you know, out here, you know, doing whatever, man. All right? Jake out here just doing whatever. You know, without considering or researching, you know, what the hell really going on? You know? What's up with you? You know, it's something ain't right, man. I you know Jake don't really care, man. You know, that's really all to it. Jake really just don't care. You know? It says, uh, sin, A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, and they have gone away backward. All right, so this is a sinful nation, man. All right, they have gone away backwards, man. All right, they're still under these devils. They still, you know, happily slave for these devils, man. All right. You know, and Jake is just so, you know, evil and wicked, you know, because they're of the father of the devil, Esau, man. All right. Esau made him this way. Esau raised, you know, these uh, raise Jacob like that, man. You know? So it's words like Jake is either in jail, you know, prison, or it's like a, Jake is either dead or in prison, or just um, slaving for for the, for these damn devils, man. All right, there's only three routes. All right? But uh, that's all I want to get on that. I hope this is edifying to the hopeful elect. I want to give our praises to the Lord, Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahushah, Ba'ashem, Kakadash. I'm going to get the bonus of the elders and the apostles of Great Bellstone. Peace and blessings to all for elect. Shalom.